testing. Right, let's do some headphone microphone. Is should be the headset. Got it. Hello, he's squeaking at me. No, I'm not. Who's there? Me. <laughs> Oh dear, hang on. Right, no no message. Usually I get a message saying switch your video on or something. I just said it. Oh, here it goes. It just makes... Why do you need to switch my video on? So, so my picture comes up, is that it? Yeah, that's all it is. I th and plus the fact, I know like some people, if they're on the mobiles and that, oh, where do I... How do I get me video on? Well, if I send the, if I do that, then it automatically comes up on their phone, and they only got to press here, and they're in, didn't they? So kind, well done, David. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm a very thoughtful person, as you well know. I know you do a lot of thinking. Yeah. No, a lot. I'm not thought what, that. I'm, I'm not that well thought of, but I do. Okay. <laughs> Apparently. We'll take a vote on that later. Yeah. Uh, now I'm an OAP, I don't give a toss anyway. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm my own man. man. Anne's, Anne's moved in there, so get the language out, all right? Morning, Dave. Good morning, uh, everybody. Yep. Yeah. The, the, air was, the air was blue, he said. <laughs> Ooh, what have I missed? <laughs> I just told you to bugger off. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> In a pleasant... No, it wasn't you, actually. It was Cuthbert, the bloody chocolate thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm a Colin fan. I've tried... I tried... Um, somebody... Actually, I think it was Emily, bought me um, the Audi one for a birthday a year or so ago, a couple of years ago, even. Yeah. And it was revolting. I threw most of it away. Oh. It's, for, it's, the, it's all wrong. You know, sometimes the chocolate, you eat chocolate and it's all gritty because it's got sugar, crystallized sugar in it. Yeah. And it's, it's that. Oh. They've got that. Now, if people are um, saying that that's acceptable, then there's something wrong with their their taste buds. <laughs> because if you took one side by side, you get it, don't you? Cheap chocolate, it's all sort of, it's almost crunchy inside, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I've, I haven't I've, seen neither of them or tried them. So I've set my heart <laughs> on buying a Colin. I'm going to buy it. You can't. Well, I'm going to get one. <laughs> the only thing that it's done is made me want to go and get a Colin. They're <laughs> going to donate it all to charity now. Yes. Strange, actually. I, I was in my said to m s would you like to donate it to charity instead that's right money for charity not lawyers wouldn't it yeah yeah they lost yeah. the court case then no they haven't got that far all oh, right no. that was well, just I, years ago. Plus, I did put the other day these foreigners they they can't do it would be the melton mowbray pork pies and yeah. this that it shouldn't be allowed Colin the caterpillar is English. He comes from <laughs> he comes from Marks and Sparks. Doesn't he? You just can't let them get away with it. Whatever <laughs> next, you know, they'll be borrowing. They'll be nicking Andrew's toilet rolls and all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, they they stole our they stole our um, what was the peanut bar marathon, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Into flipping yeah. Snickers. There's yeah. no end to it. <laughs> this could be this could be the start of Brexit too. You know that. <laughs> well, Aldi are trying to save the day. Mind you, it was their fault. But... Yeah. Well, they, yeah, they're Germans, aren't they? So. Yeah. Yeah. Coming Aldi. over, stealing, coming <laughs> over here, pinching our cakes. <laughs> I've been on um, I've been on Shropshire oat cakes. I bought, I ordered some online. I think yeah. it cost, yeah, it wasn't that cheap. Well, I did get a lot. 
<laughs> there's 48 that I know about. There's a, there's a stack of cakes, that, you know, but they were the real handmade ones from, um, I guess they're the Staffordshire Oat Cake Company. <laughs> the irony of it is, I said to Mel uh, yesterday, I said, they are delicious. They are just the thing. I said, but the only difference is they are real pancakes. So mm. I won't buy them again. I, it, as long as Sainsbury's are doing theirs, I'll carry on with theirs. Because when you, you have to heat them up for 10, 12 minutes in the 150 degrees anyway in silver foil. And then you put your fill in and they fold up like almost like tea towels, you know, wet tea, they fold up really well. And you can, but these, but these new ones are a bit thin. So when you, trying to eat you know it's a bit way a bit wobbly whereas the Sainsbury's ones cool things I talk about are um yeah a little bit, a, ones, yeah. A little bit more um substantial resilient. yeah but given the choice I'd eat either <laughs> but if you want like traditional pancakes the the the, the handmade ones are really good because you can roll them up like into I said that to Mel yesterday. She said, really? She said, well, I better give that a try. And I said, no! <laughs> she, once, once Mel gets involved, <laughs> it, the pile goes... <laughs> I know, that's being unkind. <laughs> someone's Someone's got to eat all the marmalade because I don't eat it very often. I don't like marmalade. Well, I love it, but I just don't eat breakfast. No, I don't like marmalade. What I do do is <laughs> I put marmalade and um, bananas in Shropshire oat cakes and fold it over. So mm -hmm. there is a trade. There is a trade-off. I'm not doing very well today because I've. Let me see if anyone wants to come. Uh, chat. No one's in the chat. Participants. Ah, no one's. I know um, Carol. Uh, is she texts me says she probably won't be able to come today because uh, she's waiting for the um... oh Pauline I am joined but my computer has decided to update and it's taking forever that's Pauline so she's on her way she, she's got a Microsoft well Gordon's mate isn't it yeah. <laughs> She's... My record is over 24 hours for an update. Oh, no. Yeah, spinning round for over 24 hours it was. Well, it looks like we won't be seeing Pauline then. Got <laughs> <laughs> to 99% and stuck. Uh, well, that's, yeah, but the only reason it took so long is because you got a crummy internet connection at the time. It's downloading. <laughs> Slow down now. Three days. <laughs> I got 35 megs now. They've renewed, good. they've renewed the string between the cocoa tins. Uh, I was I was doing gardening early this morning. Were you? Chrissy? Yeah, I went online. <laughs> but I thought uh, back time I got some I'll get some vegetable plants, you know. Yeah. I I went on marketplace. Um and it's all dilly dally, you know, people doing it. So mm -hmm. I thought I went online, and there's a shop on there. You buy a lot, a watch, you know, buy the plugins. Yeah. Um, fifty quid. It's like I got. Well, I haven't bought, paid for it yet, but I have to chat with Mel to okay it. Cauliflowers, lettuce, tomatoes, two lots of tomatoes, um, carrots something else peas i've oh, fancy growing some peas i used to like doing them mm -hmm. they look nice in um you know those those um, planters i bought i'll back them in there see put them out the front mm -hmm. going down the drive look like really nice peas yeah. growing yeah look like they help themselves. <laughs> steady <laughs> <laughs> well i've i've let myself in for even more gardening which is stupid uh. My neighbour, the one who's been in a coma for a long time, yeah. um, she's she's out of a coma. She oh, should, hopefully, she'll be coming home at some point. Oh, um, 
but Emma, her daughter, said that she was really worried because her mum has got an allotment and it's been untouched, obviously. I mean, she went in, well, she went in the hospital in February and she's still there. And um, she said, I haven't got a clue what to do with it. And I said, well, I don't know anything about growing vegetables. I've no idea. Um, I said, no, nor have I. She goes, mum said to me, oh, should I expect my potatoes uh, will be ready to go in soon. And she keeps, she's lost loads of chunks of her memory. Oh, right. And um, and she thinks she's still living in Portland as oh. well, <laughs> as opposed to two doors away from me. Um, so she's getting really confused. So Emma's getting upset. She said, oh, she said, I, I've got to go to the allotment. I said, well, I don't know anything about allotments, really. I said, but I'm assuming that it's all got to be dug over and, you know, <laughs> sorted out. Mm-hmm. Well, she said, I don't care what I grow. She said, as long as I can get something growing, even if it's just some flowers or anything, just so that when mum does come home, you know, she can see that I've tried. <laughs> it's so, funny, isn't it? I I'd know nothing. That. I, I know loads, shed loads about vegetable growing. Mm. Farmer Dave, I am. Oh, OK. Then so what, what should we be doing now then? <laughs> well, it's a bit late, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> end, of April, eight, end, of, end of April, all your vegetable plants are going to go in, really. Okay. Well, that's yeah. when they're, well, March april as soon as the frost goes that's what you get but if she's preparing a land then what you normally do first season is and if you, she's got it covered in membrane and oh that's good yeah that, that's in that case she can just fork it yeah fork it and get the um because it's going to be roots there so you can just fork it up and because that's what you mm-hmm. do and it stop kill the weeds yeah over, over winter so uh, and where you go? What seed potatoes? Would it something like that? Potatoes. You know the best best thing I've seen lately. To yeah, potatoes four inches deep. Mm. Yeah, and as they grow, as they grow, you you pile you you pile the trench up so they get a little mound and they keep oh, right. growing, growing, growing. And then yeah. within the then all the the tubers, the fruit grows yeah. in the mound. So then right. when you pull it up, or you can just you can get it easy oh i see yeah i saw a brilliant way of doing it the other day was to get two plant pots i saw that yeah that that was good yeah Yeah. i've got i've got potato um um planters the sort of i don't know what they call plastic cotton thing and i i never worked out how to use them properly no no i saw that flower pot one that was clever i like that hmm Cost of flat, yeah. well, if you've got old plastic flower pots, you don't have to put um, a ring of sort of seven or eight potatoes. You could just put two in a pot, couldn't you? Two pots together, the same, just lift them out. Yeah. You don't have to get a lot of spuds out of, well, it's worth yeah. it for new potatoes. Mm. But normally on a plot like that, you backfill it, you cut, a, when you when you're digging it over, usually in the autumn, you um, dig a trench, a spade depth, yeah. take take that away and put it behind you at the back. Right. And then, so you've got a spade depth trench in front of you and then you fill that in with the one behind. So you just keep oh, going so back. So and then the one that you first took out, you put in. Right. That's the, the, the usual start. I'd do that anyway. Yeah. Oh, well. You're guaranteed oh. good. You don't go any deeper, otherwise you just get rubbish soil, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's such a shame, right? though, because um, uh, Nan, that's the neighbour who's in hospital. Terrible. Mm. She's, um, yeah, she had a um, aneurysm and a bleed on the brain. Oh. And, but she, she's just lost great chunks of her memory. Um, her little grandson died. 18 months ago and when her daughter went to visit she asked how he was and has he got any teeth yet and and (laughs) she's just completely forgotten that he died so that's been really hard for him um yeah yeah very sad but anyway anyway enough about gardening (laughs) yeah well no i mean bit of a you know anytime you want to chat about anything just let me know i'm always here for you (laughs) oh Oh, dear 
Dear Dave. <laughs> Dear Dave, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the son did get in touch, but I, I'm not a great fan of them. Morning to Joyce, haven't I? I got a Hi. picture. Hello. Morning, Joyce. Oh. Hello, Joyce. Oh. Morning. So you got updated at last? I'm waiting for Pauline. There she is. Did you see her waiting to come in? Ah, there we are. Just coming now. Yeah, I just let her in. All oh, right. Oh, she's been waiting patiently. Morning, Pauline. Oh, good morning. Got morning. <laughs> 20 minutes I've been trying to yeah. get here. My computer decided to uh, do an upgrade or an upload when, when I switched it on and I thought, oh. So I was waiting for that to finish and then it's got so slow that it does, it's been yeah. this long and then because I was waiting to get in for you to let me in so I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share you my my screen. This is the gizmo that I wrote about <laughs> this morning. That's my framing tool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you can see what I was on about the length yeah, of it. Yeah. Was, <laughs> that's a three meter piece of um shelving wood that I nicked out of the garage. Oh dear. Is, <laughs> the only place I could find to suitable to fit it, I got it on two speaker stands along the back wall of the log cabin, hence the reason it's silver foil. Yeah. Because yeah. I use that because it keeps it cool in there in the summer and warm in the winter. Mm. And I haven't bothered mm. to, to do all the the other nice bits yet. But that <laughs> is a whopping great... I've got to do it for that um, to make some frames. Mm. And the accuracy is important. But, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I've got another... Sh Today's adventure is... Um, into our wonderland is that one Interest, yeah. interesting picture <laughs> i'll have to do a little maggot crawling out of it oh. <laughs> Very. alice in wonderland isn't it <laughs> well i was looking at it thinking because oh, we're gonna be i mean coming up week after next and it was starting a portrait thing hmm. and some of those portraits I th I'm thinking well that's going to put the cat amongst the pigeons a bit so because I, I, you know you can do cartoons if you like but to do nice portraits ain't easy no no I'm looking forward to having a go at that that's yeah, something I, I've never really mastered I've tried hmm. and tried and tried but I've never... well I don't think there is a way of mastering it it's just practice and practice practice isn't it yeah, I doodling guess. and doodling and doodling mm. but um I'm quite looking forward to it I was last night I was thinking the white of the the, the inside of the cut half of the app the the round one mm. it is what it is you know that I mean we can tackle that all right but I was thinking about the cut half and what color is that <laughs> what color yeah. is the, you know so yeah. there could be anything happening over the next half an hour or <laughs> an so. but anyway the i don't know if anyone's got any thoughts about the background i quite i quite like it as it is i mean that's what attracted me to the picture the way it, the way it is it's sort of um what's the word traditionally subtle i don't know it just looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> the colour I mean, balance is nice. Yeah, um, it makes the apple stand out, eh? that's for sure. Mm. Mm. I, I think as an exercise, it's interesting because you look at all the shadows involved there. I don't know mm -hmm. whether... I mean, crikey. Oh. The, the half of the apple is shining a shadow under itself and on the other apple. And the other apple has got its own shadow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is interesting territory um the one thing i did i did do a quick test last night and i just decided that we only need probably only need three colors <laughs> red yellow and green well blue and red 
red, yellow, and blue, really, because the yellow and the blue makes the green, and the yellow is going to add flavour to the uh, to the apple. Um, yeah, so we'll have a bit of fun here, I think. I think the. Let me share my. If I change to the other doodle. Hello. Your call Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> Carol's morning. She's um she she said she probably wouldn't be able to make it. All oh, right. She texted me to say that um she's got uh the Parkinson's nurse hasn't oh, arrived right, yet. Right. So if you um, I don't know you I'll have to keep an eye out if it, if she's if she does no, she just yeah. said I'll watch the video later or something like right. that. Um, but she, you never know. People, right, things change, don't they? Yeah. Um, what about all this hot weather? This sunny weather. What's going on? I know. Exactly. I was I in my garden knitting yesterday afternoon. I got some cool. I reckon. I reckon we're on. Um, this is. I've noticed this in past years, and I always think to myself, this is our summer. <laughs> Forget the rest of the the rest of the year is going to be garbage. Ooh, we got to get out now, caravans. Not. <laughs> yeah, I think when you start practice doing circles, circles and ovals. I think that's a a, cri a cri before you before you attempt this sort of warm up with pra practice. Drawing circles. I'm sure there. I read somewhere that there are artists that out there that do that every morning. They get up and they'll spend. They do a whole page of circles, just to because they're they're not easy. I can remember our art teacher when I was a lad getting us to do. Um, I don't know if it was circles, but you remember even so going better than that was. Um, when you were little, they used to get you to do handwriting, didn't they? And I can still, and it was still that now. It was doing those perfect squiggles, wasn't it? And the, do a line of those, David, and then we want a line of A's. <laughs> but it's along the same lines, isn't it? It's oh, my videos paused there. I, well, I moved um, the the uh, thing down. I had. To, Part of the, um, the change and go back. Come on, my little mate. They gave me those um, writing exercises after I had my stroke. I had ah, to do them every day. Yeah. Do all the alphabet every day, and I still did. I did the S's backwards every single time. Can you do them the right way now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I pulled the wrong cable out. Oh, well, I love things when they go wrong. <laughs> I, think, I think one camera upset the other camera. And if you notice that everything I say and do seems to have a theme. The um, the reason I, the framing machine out in the, that's now out in the, co the um, log cabin on two speaker stands one end well the speaker stand was behind in front of me up that way with the camera on it a bit higher up so now I've I haven't got a speaker stand so the camera's a bit lower down and if I touch it it sort of freezes but yeah. anyway yeah but those are so those old things that we used to do are still relevant mm. to doing circles I think the um the thing I I learned recently was don't oh. if you draw it when you draw anything. Don't draw with the wrist. Oh. Don't you don't draw circles or things that are important. You know that you're trying to get a straight line. You don't draw it with the wrist. You draw it with your focal point being your elbow, your arm. Rest your hand on it. Do whatever you like. Even stick a use the edge of the a book like I'm doing there that'll give me a straight line because I'm following 
my hands resting on that. Same with circles. Utilize. It's just everyone finds their own method of doing it. I did sketch it yesterday. Yeah. Da -da. But yeah. I didn't. You cut the wrong one. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I did use my um my my sort of little grid. I, I seem to be stuck with that now. The only thing that's going to, the only thing that I was conscious of was um, that it is a round circle. So when it comes to um, painting it, I'm going to put a line, a couple of lines, just a couple of marks to tell me that I am drawing a circle. But I think I should be all right. This is art. We don't care about light sources. We're just going to... Right, David, have you cut a piece out of both apples? Or is it a light source in your picture? I, I don't quite understand what you're saying there, Mr. You Mr. Coleman. On the left. The apple on the left has got a white ellipse on the top of it. Apple on the left. This one, yeah, up here, yeah? No, no, no the yeah. one you've drawn. Go down to your next picture, the one you've drawn. Yeah, you've cut it, haven't you? Oh, I was just, this. it was just a doodle. Uh -huh. I, wasn't, I wasn't actually thinking, oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That confused me. I was expecting a round one and it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see, and I've put, I've put a stalk on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just all I was doing. Was it was just the afternoon, and I thought, yeah. what colours are we gonna? What actual fact? I'm not far off. No, it's very good. Um, so the plan, what I kept, what I decided in the end was a, as I was doing it, don't use a small brush. Mm -hmm use a bigger brush and it was really just the colors I, I just found that the in the yellow palette I wanted a lemon yellow and I mixed it with a sort of warm yellow so I've got it's, say it's lemon yellow it's I think it's cadmium yellow light or something along those lines it's a and the other thing about it is it's one of those hang on let me find it one of the here it is Holbein colors cadmium yellow pale is and it's only a small little thing you don't need big tubes of Holbein paint because a lot of them are opaque they're watercolors but I, I was looking through the color um, chart and you can see it tells you on there what the transparency of colors are um, and their opacity and their light fastness and a lot of them at the whole beam ones are um, they got that opaque it says opaque <laughs> and I, a lemon yellow traditionally is one of them so that give it a quite a, a nice solid feel when you come to anyway I need some blue but I'm not going to I'm just keeping it there for a minute and add a bit of You're frozen again oh for goodness sake <laughs> fancy freezing mm. Hang on, it should be off now. No. I think I might be um, having to put up with this for a while today. It'll be all right. We'll get there in the end. I'll cut the video. <laughs> <laughs> now the camera's decided it. No, dear, dear. If it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> I 
was I did consider um using my um my phone but that plan went a wall if it keeps happening can you you can't do you can't do painting in audio can you <laughs> <laughs> Should come back now. I think the problem, yeah, it, it could be um, USB more than camera. I might, if it persists. Be back, but we can't tell if it moves. Ah, uh, it will. If just keep an eye on it, if it freezes and all. I'll try and not go near the camera. I think it, if you jiggle the bench, it gets a bit upset. Anyway, yeah, so what I was doing, I was just mixing out a few colours. The green, I, that's the reason I had blue. I'm just looking for a, an apple -y green, really, which is blue and yellow. Eh? And the other colour I decided was a warm red or a red it doesn't have to be warm just a red because we're going to add i'll put some there but that i'm just keeping it keeping the red but really what i want is an orange so I'll just add a bit of yellow to it without let's have a look at the picture just sort of gauge it how much orange do how much it's yellow, orange, and it's apple colour, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Make me an apple. But I'm just, you need to mix mix up a wadge of it. Hopefully I might do a watercolour today instead of one of those hybrid things that I end up doing. You never know. The other colour that I have got, but I'm not going to cheat, but I've got it in the palette just in case. Um burnt sienna let's try that try this first oh, my burnt sienna's gone a bit firm make up i'm just mixing i could do this previous but everybody goes how did you make that color so i'm trying to be yeah burnt sienna and blue gives us a nice bit of gray doesn't it yeah. so i'm just thinking you know i'm thinking here is the background I'll just make it Need to plenty of water in it. I don't want it solid. But over in this palette, in this tray, I have got some warm grey paint. But the only trouble is it's so strong. And it, I opened the tube and it all squirted out. Like it will. I seem to have a my grey's a bit brown. So counteract that we'll add a bit a bit more blue i think touch it on that palette it's still looking a bit brown hey ho maybe a different blue cobalt blue that'd be all right i'm not really overly gonna cry about it shame carol when you watch the video i thought of you last night and I didn't use any masking fluid. <laughs> I've decided to go off, go rogue. Um, do I need the, I suppose I ought to look at the picture a bit. Let's put it there. Down there, something like that. Because in a minute when the camera freezes. Oh no, I've got. Ew, on my paper. Maybe that's <laughs> meant to be. I don't know. I'm not going to. Hmm. I'm going to start with the background, I think. I'm not rushing. I'm taking my time. I'm not being pressured into silly mistakes. Uh, shall I go turn? I was going to turn the paper upside down, but I'm not even going to do that. Ooh, devil, 
I know. There's no. <laughs> I don't, when I when I get these things in my mind, that's it. It's there, permanent. Where's my white? My little spray gun. I'm just going to spray. No, I'm not. Because I've got apples in my. I don't want to get my apples. Need to find a big brush, Dave. Big brush, big brush. Clean water, big brush, and make the background nice and damp. Well, fluid. I've been watching videos on um, making candy, sweets. Fascinating. There's a sh somebody in Australia. There's a shop a st in a bit like Sovereign Centre, I suppose. In a thing and uh they make candy you know butterscotch rhubarb and custard you name it mm. they've got all these mach well well it, it's absolutely mesmerizes me i even i'm even considering it up and go mm. making my own candy mm. very nice it's dangerous <laughs> it is dangerous yeah it is a serious, dangerous occupation. The sugar you got to get to 150 degrees, and if that gets on your skin, yeah. you got to go and see a skin a burns expert straight away. Mm -hmm. There's no good going to your doctor. You need to go to the hospital. Anyway, I've decided that I'm going to add some yellow on this side as a background. To me, Gordon, he's the light expert. Seems to me on the photo, this paper is the, um, by the way, is the Somerset one. Not Somerset, Stonehenge. It's got an S in it. That is <laughs> so like me. That is so me, that is. Every time I, I'm going to use that big, big flat brush. Why not? Go on, Dave. You don't care, do you? No, I don't. So I'm fine to go back. Oh, didn't mean to do oh. that. <laughs> I'm just going to add add the wash of uh, something in the background. That looks a bit looks a bit brown to me. So let's add a bit of that blue on it. But I think it's going to be a it is a watercolor. Remember, so I'm not going to get that that real. I'm not tilted the paper that much either. But I do want to, uh, maybe this brush is a bit, this is um, a Terry Harrison one. It's feels a bit, hey -ho. got to try these things out. That's looking good over that side. Let me think. It's all right. Dave, you thinking? Yes, I am. More blue? Yes, I am thinking more blue. Bit of cobalt blue. Introduce some more blue. Well, this I'm only thinking out aloud. What? What? I'm only speaking out aloud. What would be thinking if I'm painting it? You know, if no one was here, I'd be thinking, "Good oh, God, you need some blue in there, Dave." Or what? You know. It's like, I'm just. I'm still coming in from the diagonals if I can. I'm leaving that yellow bit over there. I might have, if you've got any Payne's grey, I'll do it for, a, I'll add some of this grey into the mixture. See what happens, mm, sort of, doesn't work. I think the, um, I'm, I'm not going to force the issue, I'm just going to leave it. See what happens. Well, I'm not going to leave it, I'm going to wiggle it. I'm going to tilt the paper around, see what, see if I can get some. Some nice fluid. Yeah, it looks grey on screen, but where I am, I'm, it's looking a bit blue, but I'm conf mm, mildly hopeful that it all. Chris is in her element with her um, acrylics because she can get it really brown, but I, I wanted it to be more of a more of a water Some pressure on me now <laughs> no i wanted it to be more of a, i was talking about you doing this picture on 
Friday. Oh, yeah. yeah, I said, it's a brilliant opportunity. There are two T's in opportunity, David. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. It's a brilliant opportunity for you to um, really go to town with a palette knife. Mm. Um, that's what come as I was talk we were talking about I was showing Gor Anne and Gordon what the picture what the plan was for today mm. and I said cool Christine should be brilliant for using um, an acrylic palette knife you could have some real fun sort of do the background or even yeah. a layer of white and then get your palette knife and do the background and then palette knife the apple mm. carves in yourself with a palette knife don't care about it. long just for, have fun think about the shape mm. and just tease it with a palette knife doesn't matter if they long as they look impressionate summit like an apple who cares yeah. i think it looked really nice i'll have a go at that i got well i got enthusiastic and i wasn't going to be doing the palette the <laughs> you can tell I'm still enthusiastic about it now. So I was thinking maybe this is one of those pictures that you know, early lunch. I've said that before, and it you didn't have work. said that before many times. <laughs> yeah, every time I say that, it's the I'm the kiss of death. Well, it's an artistic. <laughs> dude are isn't it i'm just this is clean water and just so happened that the brush has got some little bit of blue paint from a previous life which is fine what i'm what i was wanted to do was block in so i've got gray in my palette anyway so decide to my well the top tip up to now, what I can see of it from my painting is to decide on a nice grey and mix plenty up. My, my grey is not as, well, maybe, oh, maybe my eyesight's not as spot on, but make it Get the grey as good as you can. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just gonna. I'm just blocking in some shadows. So, so they're there right from the word, right from the word go. What do you call it? Um, value painting, I think they call it. You, I'm just putting in values of I'm doing the dark tones now I've done the background and while I'm waiting that waiting for that to settle down I decided to add some mid-tone shadows they will be darker by the time you finish and in a minute I'm gonna to have to wait for these to dry as well I suspect did you did you say you were um, you a member of uh, Amazon Prime, Chris. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to send you that link for Arthur. Count Arthur Strong. They are yeah, so yeah. they are so funny. I've said it a thousand times before, but you can always tell when something's funny because I remember it, and I can remember it. I'm just painting now, and, it's, and I'm thinking about the one I saw yesterday. Where. <laughs> It makes me laugh. He said, Arthur Brown was there in the, it's all based around a cafe and he was, they was talking to him and he couldn't, he said, oh, I'm a bit deaf of the day. <laughs> so anyway, the next shot is one of his mates, he's leant over the table, pouring washing, wash, with a funnel in his ear, pouring washing up liquid in it. <laughs> Trying to loosen the wax or whatever. Oh dear, oh dear. And it and it, it cuts off, carries on in the movie. And then, and then it's, sort of, it's a bit later on, it's like, well, that didn't really work. And then about an half an hour later, there's another scene. 
along the same thing. He's still there. He's come back later on and he's leant over the table again and Eggy, his mate, is with another, with the funnel again over his ear and matey boy goes, what the heck are you doing this time? Oh, it's all right. Putting lemon in, lemon juice in to, to counteract the washing up liquid. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I've got by now I'm thinking, oh my, this could actually work. That's the funny thing about it. <laughs> so if you <laughs> but it makes sense, doesn't it? He's putting washing up lemon juice in his ear to counteract the washing up <laughs> liquid that he put in <laughs> And he get up, he gets up off the table, they're talking to him, and he's answering back, and they're going, My God, he can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> it's working <laughs> anyway talking to this picture I've just made the tablecloth damp and add in a little bit of blue on it just blue where the shadows are could introduce a bit of red if you want to show off I'm just <laughs> well no it's not red is it it's a sort of a crimsony colour but it, it worked well with the blue I can feel Blind panic coming on here. I, th I can see Doug Gordon doing a tartan tablecloth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll just rule that out. It'll detract too much, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're like for your details. <laughs> I'm just roughing up the paper with the brush. I don't... I can't... I'm a... I know I was saying this, um, it's a bit of, I'm going to add a little, it's because I've got no fear, a little bit of blue, crim uh, red, it's sort of a very light red and a bit of blue under there, I think. Now, one of the things that I was thinking about earlier, and I seem to have not forgotten, but not adhering to. And we should bear it in mind. A complementary colour. So if you've got a red apple, <coughs> the shadow would be red and green. Mm -hmm. So to make up, make the, because the, the object that you're painting will reflect itself, which is its natural colour, but the shadow in, will be includes the complementary colour of it. So if you make any notes, that's the one to make. I'm just adding a few. Well, I don't know. What's that? I've got a dry brush with some of this bit of blue bit of grey and a bit of pinky colour on it and I'm just rushing it around trying to find some folds in the paper. I've put blue over here because it seemed to have it in the picture but true to form because I'm normally if I wasn't doing painting this like this I would I do the background or do something on the background walk away go and have a cup of tea come back once it's settled down and then either tweak it or adjust it and just do it that way. But, but these are not full blown cells paintings, are they? And I don't think it's, I think uh, from my experience anyway, tell me if I'm wrong, but it, when you're doing, when you're doing these things at this stage, it's always a question of, Having faith, having having belief in what you're trying, to, what you what's going to happen later, because you you're painting something and you you're not quite sure what the end result's going to be. You've got a rough idea, but you, the bit the elements that you're putting on earlier on are, have no relation. They don't make the subject look nice, you know, until you put the main subject dim which is the apples in this case I 
assume it's still apples when I'm painting. Um, just put a dab there, which is contrary to what I always say. When it's when it's wet, leave it alone. Don't go back in on your washes, otherwise you will get runbacks and other undesirable effects. I think if you, I've got the, the last time we did a sort of still life was the one with the pineapple in that Gordon brilliantly mm said they're diamonds the pineapple you know and that had apples in it i was looking at it this morning and i was thinking i never got around to finalizing it off but one of the things i i was considering was putting a black outline or a really dark outline around the fruits you see that sometimes in pit paintings don't you they and figures as well they put a, an outline sort of emboldened I don't mm. know why, but it, it, sometimes you look and you think, that looks really nice. So if I get my marker out at a later stage, you know that I want to <laughs> turn it into a, something else. I need to get my um, hairdryer. Two secs. Call it, I've got, I wish, sign, I wish they wouldn't have done that with that flipping collie and the caterpillar cake. <laughs> well, I've got in my mind's eye at the moment. I, I just, it just, just fleetingly went through my head as I went over here to pull the plug up. Oh, if it's my, it, it went, oh, I've only got sponge cake for lunch. I could really. <laughs> Actual fact, what a nice husband I am, because Mel was, I was talking to Mel about, should I get a caterpillar cake online from m and So do they do it online? And, and uh, I said, I really fancy one of them. I said, but then again, when it comes to it, I don't really need it because I've got yours, beautiful sponge cake. Whew, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, well, that's sort of normally if you let things dry back as much as you can they're out and you'll get a much nicer mm. flatter wash oh blimey just to dry it off a bit I only eat one apple a day anyway <laughs> so what are you going to do with the other half <laughs> well yeah I don't think this is my this isn't my picture no don't no. think it's my no I think I pinched it off the internet somewhere you can tell when it's that's a beauty when it's stretched paper you can tell when it's dry because it's sort of the wrinkles come out of it. Don't like doing it as a rule, but otherwise I'll be here till about four o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be talking solo then. <laughs> Looks nice. Mm -hmm. I'll probably. Um, Well, no, I definitely between now and Friday, turn it upside down and redo the um, the background grey on the right hand side a bit more. Well, it's okay. Right off. I never seems to have dried nicely. Switch my phone off because <coughs> I keep getting stalkers ringing me up. 
you should be so lucky. <laughs> I finally had the. Yeah. Where was it? Oh, I was waiting for. I was ex not expecting for sure, but I had a hunch that the lady that I got this commission to coming through and I said I'm postponing it I had a hunch that she'd be ringing me up and uh, so my phone went my mobile I sent her the number it went so I thought well normally I wouldn't pick it up if I didn't know the number and I picked it up and yeah you bet it was the voice thing from the Inland Revenue telling me that oh. <laughs> I've I've been naughty I've got an outstanding dude or what? I don't know. I didn't. Um, I didn't <laughs> yeah. Normally, as for everyone else, I thought mm, everyone else gets those calls, not me. <laughs> but because I was waiting for a call, yeah. I'm just putting clean water on the center of this apple, and um, just to dampen it off. Shame, really. I. I've gone over my pencil mark. Hey -ho. It's a really light wash of lemony green, isn't it? But you need such a such a light wash of lemon. I'm using the edge of the paper here and just tease it over because it's wet. I'm hoping it will flow. One thing I one thing I did notice that the right hand edge of this has a sort of fine line down it, the edge of the colour. Mm. It's the skin of the apple, isn't it? Mm. Gosh, I knew there was something that, that I... <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, Anne. <laughs> keeps, keeps me on the straight and doodah. Um. I'm even going to put a bit of yellow on the stalk, <clears throat> the internal bit. We're going to stick a bit on, aren't we? And his bottom. I think um, I was saying, I was meant to say earlier, I started to say and didn't finish the subject like I normally do, was... Um, The um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say again. Oh, well. I don't know where I was going there. It's trouble when you try and do five things at once. I'm a bloke. We're not allowed to. <laughs> this multitasking. This multitasking don't work for me. I've got a, a yucky orange colour here. No, what I was saying was this. The um, I'm only mucking about the um. This paper that I was saying earlier that I'm considering buying a wadge of it. It's um, Stonehenge, Stonehenge, not Stonehenge, Stonehenge. <laughs> but I'm sort of getting in two minds with it because when the importance of this type of painting it will become apparent in a little while is the ability to lift colour off mm -hmm. to get your highlights I've still got this sort of orangey colour can add a bit of extra red to it warm it up for the bottom bits I'm just letting the paint drizzle itself I made it damp I made the whole thing damp really and then used a very light yellow tint to go over the lot or leaving out the highlights that I can sense are in the front of the core here and then dropped in some of the the orange colour but this paper as I was alluding to is the when you come to lift off it it, it doesn't want to it doesn't like it it's it's not just the paint it's just any of it it's, i'll show you what i mean in a sec everyone's 
seeing it different, Dave. Including me. I think what I might do is let the red bleed off into that shadow as well. Let's see, it's I'm not fussed that it's gone down there. Because I wanted to practice what I preach or what I suggested. And looking at our, I'm going to make the shadow dark down the bottom there. And just for fun, well, just for due diligence, I've got some green here. Remember what I said right at the start? The opposite sort of color for the shadow is to use the um, complementary. We'll see what happens. It's a bit green to me. <laughs> so you might need to add a bit of blue in it. That's better. So, but it is, what's green? Yellow and blue, isn't it? It's got blue in it. So if you, yeah, that looks nice. Watercolours, isn't it? You're always fighting against either too little or too much water. Add a bit more blue. And the other thing that we're always um, battling is the drying. When it dries, it it changes colour. It fades, doesn't it? Your beautiful wash that you've done suddenly turns into I nearly said mush, but it's not mush. It just turns into a, a much lighter tone than you anticipated or wanted in a way. Now, this was on about this paper. Normally you get an area like this and you can lift. It's not too bad this time, but I was doing it yesterday and it, or the, on other occasions and it's been a right two and eight to sort of get it to lift off. For example, if I wanted to tidy up, there's a light gray edge on there from the previous wash. And it's really stubborn. Just maybe I'm being too, too, too picky going for a perfection. I've actually got clean water on the brush. So I'm just going under that shadow. I don't, I'll just let it fade into it a bit, but I'm not fussed about that. It'll come, it's a little bit more orange. As I say, it's always a battle of, oh, when you do yours, you might wanna turn the paper around the other way, just to, so the, the paint all flows back towards the center a bit. Never wanted to be a botanical artist. You see them turn up at Pine Walk. Usually, sounds sexist, but they're usually young girls. Well, you know, late young ladies. They seem to be have an affinity with. Maybe it's the because it's quite a, a finicky. Um, Sound, even that sounds sexist, like knitting. It's just girls' temperaments seem to be better suited to it, perhaps. I don't know. But I know quite a few girl like, artists that do it. But I'm, I must be have a feminine side because I quite enjoy doing it. Tell you the truth. Um, I don't think it's, as it's happening, I'm sort of thinking, oh, this ain't you, Dave. But later on, just add a little bit of colour to the edge there. The one we did with the pineapple one, I t I'll show you. I had a look at it yesterday and I'm thinking, do you know what? I could get into this. <coughs> painting 
um, still life. I told you, didn't I? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you again about Peter, the guy at Bournemouth Gardens used to come once a year with paintings that were like, I don't know, some of the bigger ones were like five foot tall, three foot wide canvases. And, and they were um, bowls of fruit and say on a sideboard, an old Victorian sideboard, painted in the dark with candle, with candle on, dripping candle. Mm. Like you get, you see them on Christmas cards and that. And he had, that was him. It was, it was him. <laughs> I thought, and I was always <laughs> fascinated with his paintings. I'm just adding a bit of warmth, a bit more red to the bottom. Trying to find. Mm, we got to be careful here, Dave. We ain't doing botanical paintings. We're trying to get a nice. Um, the pip. Not, uh, oh, and the stalk. I decided to think. Um, with fruit and vegetables, anything like this sort of thing. They, they're they part of the apple. Another, what I mean by that, the apple started with, what is on our on the outside, either the stalk, started off as a seed from the middle there. So it, when it first formed its life, it was the same colors as the rest of it. So when I paint it, try and paint it with that in mind. In other words, I've sort of now I've just painted it yellow and then added a bit of green, which the green which I formed right from the start from the yellow and the blue. So it's my own mixed up green based on the colours that I'm now that I've used in the painting. So I know that any green I make from the blue and the green is going to be relevant, is of the same family, the same suit. Um, if you want to make it darker, you could try add some a little tad of burnt sienna that I used to make my grey and just drop that in. Or a bit of blue. Blue and that together gives us the grey. Now I saw it's not working well here. Anyway. That's a that's a tease it tease me up later job. Um, the pip same thing, so I'm going to do the same with it. I've sketched it really loose. There's a little circle there, so I'm just going to put a blob of. <gasps> I'm really fastidious about my yellow, my palette. <laughs> so it's the, the pip. I'm just using. Um, yellow and dropping in a little bit of green and blue that's running out here. And now, just drop it in. And because it's wet, I'm just going to let the water do its, do its um, tantalizingly clever best. I don't know why I'm tempted, but I'm going to, I've got a bit of that green left. So I'm tempted to add some greeniness to my apple. Hopefully around here. Notice the brush I'm using. It's just a little well, that's a Terry one, Joyce. I think it's the little pointy one he calls it or something. I don't know. Yeah, I've got that one. I use that one a lot. Yeah, I've well Hmm. I've started to. I think at um, some stage, the um, the rigor is going to have to come come into play here. On the on my print, I can't see where 
the um, the growth rings are on the apple. I noticed they were on the screen, so I'm I'm making them up at the moment, but I'm just putting them in really light. Do you know they're like an onion, don't they? The apples have the same same sort of core, the growth rings, aren't they? A bit like a tree. And uh, I might get to the second apple at some point today. <laughs> paint what you see really but the beauty of this keeping it to these three minimum colors is you've got the opportunity all this all this is um following following a almost like a little course routine because late next next month or later when we get into the portraits all this is relevant that we don't use loads of colors on our palette because mm -hmm. we want to build up layers of so if, the, if you think of the apple skin of the apple as flesh of a person or a portrait it's exactly the same um thought process we don't, you just need lots of delicate, fine layers of similar color to build up the strength or not, as, as happens like over here on this half of the apple will, there'll be areas where we don't want lots of strength. So we started off with a really low strength wash of lemon of, well, what? lemon yellow, pale yellow and it's gradually built up around the edges where it's slightly darker even now i've put those on i should use my rigger i'll probably lift that off but it's one of those um sit in front of the screen and have a look at it a bit a bit closer it's my printer i think we we're having a discussion the other day prints top quality um, images to sell on the right paper. This is clean water on the brush. I'm just going, notice I put those two lines right at the start to make me remember that I'm painting a ball. This is a Terry Harrison. All my brushes are Terry Harrison, I think. What's he called this one? Joyce, do you know? Can you remember? Gold um, detail oh. large. Gold oh, detail. Yeah. It's one of my favourite brushes. Not as pointy as after last week's bloody episode with the mop. I'm, I ought to keep shouting about mop brushes. That was funny. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. These OAP moments are amazing. That's why I said to watch Count Alpha Strong. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll, see, you'll see the whole of Dave Harvey's life before you. <laughs> Everything that I do is, well, I've even started imitating him now. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a great fan. I'll send you the link. This is lemon yellow. I'm just, but it's the same with portraits, isn't it? That's why I've, I think that's why I'm um, drawn to these um, these things. I think it's a a precursor to <laughs> what's going to come later. I don't know. I think the build up the. I've still got plenty of that orange here. use the brush in a in a circular way. Oh poor Colin, I don't know. What am I gonna do? Oh, dear. Well some people whoops some people like to have music on when they paint. A lot of artists do. I do, do you know what? I, it doesn't attract me, that. 
Oh, Zerion Crimson, or if you've got Rose Madder, is a nice colour. I think I might be um, bulging this up. So I want to, I want more yellow. Gordon's going he's more yellow, you know that, don't you? <laughs> and he shouldn't do that really. Well, the reason I mentioned it early on was that there's a highlight over here that normally what we do while it's damp, I'm going to drop in. And I've, there's a shadow that right over there that nicked. So I'm going to go a bit closer to the other apple. But we can tidy that up. Now I'm going to get my other brush back to that tiddler and drop in some, some yellows where I see them for a minute. Let it blend. There's a lot at the top, isn't there? It's, is it yellow? Or, is it, or has it got a bit of green in it? As I say, these are... I think my eyesight's... I need to go spec savers. They keep telling me. They keep texting me saying, Dave, we are open. You need to come and talk to us. And I'm thinking, yeah, but you only sell plastic lenses. And plastic lenses are garbage. No, no, they're as good as the um, glass ones these days. And I'm thinking, yeah, but you would say that because you're bloody, you're spec savers. You've got a factory stuck over in Guernsey somewhere that's making nothing but plastic bloody lenses. So all you want to do is flog me your plastic lens. Oh, no, 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 no. We wouldn't do that, would we? And I'm thinking, yeah, this is getting a stupid conversation. Punching Judy up this end. <laughs> well. It's, it's a sort of an internal battle I have with myself every time I start painting. Am I doing doing good? Am I doing bad? Am I indifferent? Good your success. I think the um, I think one of the things I'm going to add some more of that lovely red. It's not red. It's not red. It's um, a big blob of yellow from your, from your picture. You need to talk to yourself on the picture. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, it's just come out of the thing. Yeah. Oh, you weren't supposed to tell me that. Because I was concentrating. Yeah. So, so hard. <laughs> nah. Us, us, us proper artists, we don't worry about these things, Chris. <laughs> I don't... Some to, uh, it's... It's a bit like um, the same, the same uh, as some people won't walk under ladders in the street. I'll mm. just drop in bits of red over here now, where I've left the yellow. Don't panic. Um, so some people think it's bad luck and all the rest of it, but equally, it could be good luck, couldn't it? Depends on your perspective. Mm. Something nice happens after it. After you've walked out under it, you don't get run over by a by a brush, a brush, a, a bus. Daft's <laughs> a brush. Mm -hmm. You mm. said it. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm <laughs> just trying to refill my palette. With a bit of blue and a bit of green, because. Um, Cool. So I'm just going to add a bit of blue to the side of this apple because I think it wants a bit of blue on it. That surprised you, didn't it? Yeah. Me as well, I can tell you. Hence the reason I added a bit of green as well because I. 
So I've got to be so careful. If I touch the, um, the camera, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure it will freeze the video, which I didn't really want it to do. I think it's come in there. I think, it, to mm. me, I've got to tidy this edge off. I'm not worried about that. And I've got this lucky piece of yellow, <laughs> this, which with a bit of clean water on it. We'll go. Well, it's, it's a bit like I said about um, walking under a ladder down the street. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Generally, I would avoid it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to painting, sometimes those things drop on. And I always figure it's the god of art, apples, or <laughs> god of painting, <laughs> saying that needs a bit of yellow there. Mm -hmm. So I sometimes... Some, Sometimes loathe to to touch it or leave it. I just sort of we'll see what happens there. That half of an apple would be brain by now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about it. Yeah, well, I think I, I I'm exactly of the same thought because I was thinking yesterday. Should I go? I'm gonna. I was. I'll go and cut an apple up and. Um, Take a picture of it. Do one on my own. And I thought, can you be, you have to be quick? Because some of these apples these days, they they go greeny brown ten seconds after you've opened them. Uh, especially Granny Smiths. Well, <laughs> odd box. We're odd box. We are. Mm. That's tomorrow. Odd box. Wednesday's mm -hmm. here. Shut up. This, yeah, I've got more yellow coming in here, look. Yes. <laughs> so, well, not to be outdone, I'm going to utilise it. I'm a bit conscious of the, um, the washing in there. It hasn't dried back how I was anticipating. Or I, I wanted it, to, maybe it's still damp, I don't know. But I wanted it to be a really nice, um, soft wash. Normally, to achieve that, it's clean water. Remember? Dave's clean water. Mm -hmm. Do clean water on the brush. On the area that you want. And get your colour and drop it into the clean water and let let it flow. And where it meets the edge, just add a little bit more clean water underneath and it'll soften it down. So um, actually the shadows do go across there anyway. So what am I getting fractious about? Oh, wrong brush. Sorry about that. As I said right from the start, I'll probably have to, this little yellow tray is a bit annoying, isn't it? I've still got some grey from earlier, which was a bit brown. So what I've done is keep mixing it. Oh, no. What did he do that for? Sorry. That was, that was um, put in. I went to put it in the burnt sienna colour and I went into the little red colour, which made my wonderful grey that I, tint that I was just about to mix up go decidedly wonky. But the great artists, artists of, in the sky decided that that's the colour that it should be. Right. So shadow time have fun yeah even find a bit of um thingy shadows if you want might be a bit strong and drop them in i'm just gonna i don't care because the paper's soaking wet so i'm just gonna drop it in 
uh, real adamant. I've already taken my time over this painting, you know that. Ooh. Normally normally I would have done this in five minutes. Well, fifteen. Steady. And da, 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 da. there is one little piece that I'm gonna have a go at in a minute. So my paper my piece of paper is curved up so I can't actually see where the shadows are and in true I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody else's go at this get mm. hungry breath <laughs> Gordon will probably put a banana a, a row of grapes Yes, I noticed he had lots more poppies growing up his fence. Four poppies, four poppies. Yeah, yeah, yeah we had four, <laughs> po four poppies. But there was a there was a reason for that. That okay. was like just in case he mucked the mucked one up. Oh. That was all it was, wasn't it, Gord? Yeah. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense to me. Covering all your bases. Now this is what I was on about this paper is that it won't it doesn't let me lift off like some of the other papers do. A little bit. Now what I was saying earlier, if I get my smaller brush again. It was just, I always think I'm only gonna use two brushes. And I never do. I always end look. I want to lift off this area here to give it a highlight and this paper makes it really really a struggle so well I suppose if you know that's going to happen you haven't put the shadow in there I know that I know that yeah just sort of, just sort of paying attention how dare you uh, that spoiled my <laughs> thunder I was just going to say oh, I've got to put that was what I said it about 10 minutes, uh, a few minutes ago. I said I've got one more thing to sort out yet. <laughs> and that was him. Oh, you spoiled it now. Oh, you shadow. Well, it is. I've just got a little bit of um, yucky grey colour in the palette. So I'm just going to see what happens. Without that bit of shadow. A bit of Terry Harrison shadow even. In watercolour, we just make it make that area wet and drop it in. You can do that in acrylics, Chris. Yeah. Needs to be stronger. Bolder. <laughs> See what happens when it dries back. I've really, I've really enjoyed this. Mm. I've got fish finger sandwiches for lunch as well. <laughs> well, that's my, that's my prize for being a good boy <laughs> and doing a, doing an okay painting. Um, yeah, but it, the trouble is these watercolors. Uh, I think I'll do it the same over there as well, actually. I've got a bit of that shadowy colour left. Let's introduce a bit down here. I always get to a stage in the painting where it's paper is so wet that you're frightened to touch it. But you don't want to dry it because it's Try and I spoil it. Oh, me. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought that was a. I reckon Gordon had a word with Bill Gates and told him to do that to your computer. He said, Why are you picking on me? Have a go at someone else for a change. Here's Pauline's email. Sort that one out. There you go. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, dear. And the beauty of, if you get it on some papers, watercolour paper, you can lift off um, colour from a, a damp piece, like I've just done there, and add it to another part of the picture to give, to if you're looking for um, more information. And it also, so you can lift it off and put it somewhere else to give it, well, to make the other part of the picture nicer. My tip of the day, don't throw it away. And, uh, don't, well, it's just a question of, uh, Oh, it's only dicing. Leo was yeah. sleeping nicely on the window so and he suddenly looked at her Dyson barking. <laughs> this piece here is the paper's got distressed. So it's I gotta I can't touch it now. I've got oh. to leave it, see what it does, see what the water as it dries back. Which is, I'm going to persevere with it, but I think the the batch of this paper that I want to buy is going to be thicker. This this is a bit thin. My issue that I've got with this picture at the moment, the reason it's looking a bit luke lukewarm, luke a bit lucid, a bit whatever, is that my background, and I said it right from the start, needs to be more intense, more, more dark, needs a bit, a bit more information, especially on one side. But standing back and looking at it. Well, I thought, I was going to say it's some, um, but I think, I need some. Can I put it on there? Yeah, sure. Oh, what is that squeaky noise? Sam. I haven't got there yet. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't have it with my tinnitus. <laughs> I haven't moved. I put down a cup of tea. That was a little... That's what they were doing to a, on the, to his ear. Because <laughs> they decided that he, back on him again with this yeah to up. cure his tinnitus. You mentioned <laughs> the magic word. Oh, that was why they were putting washing up liquid and in his ear to clear it. Clear his. <laughs> oh, I don't God. think I'll try it. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Oh dear. It wasn't me because I'm still stood here. Okay. I just, all I need to do now is let this dry and tidy it up here and then and redo the background by turning it upside down, tighten up that edge of the thing. But this is, you can see I'm going to run back here, mm. which is, which I can't resolve until it's dry properly. If I try to do it now, it, it just compose, it just compounds the, the run back. Something you don't get, Chris, in the um, the wonderful world of acrylics. No. Now, it's just a question of adding depth and tidying up, really. I quite enjoyed this. Mm. I don't care if it's... Um, it's not... Well, I always say it's not my finest painting. The next next couple of days, I I look at it and I toys things out, tease things out, tidy up some of the run backs. Didn't really need that bit there. It's got the wrong colour on it, and decide on some what sits. But I don't think this one. And I've got some pencil marks. See the run back? Yeah. It's because the paper was too wet when I put when Miss Christine told me to do it put the shadow on <laughs> I told, I told, I, I, if it weren't for that mm. I wouldn't be doing that 
I get I get a lot of that on when I'm painting the long backs, but I make the mistake of trying to go over it when it's don't do that. No, that's why I'm not touching so, it. I don't yeah. I'm not I'm not fussed about Lesson it. Learned. Uh, yeah. That I ain't gonna touch that. And same same with yeah, when it's when it's bone dry, we can tidy it up with clean water and put some more red and green underneath there or a little bit of red shadow and it'll bring it back and get the rigger. Have I got a rigger? Yeah, I've got rigger. And get the rigger and oh, tighten, tighten up these areas, climb up, but don't clean your palette. Don't clean your palette. And uh, voila, I think I'm, I'm not going to. Well, it, it, you can see that is a brilliant example of what happens to beginners when they paint. What did they put on it to make it? Hey! <laughs> it's it's not not the it's so, yeah. but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I when I come to fix it, I'll put a. When I when I come to. It won't be today now because it needs to dry really nice. Um, when I come to fix it, I'll put the video on. Hmm. And, and I'll do I'll do a part two of this one. All right. Because it's. It's not garbage enough, to to discard, but it is. It does need fixing. Which one? You can say that, but all my paintings are like that. All everyone's paintings are a bit like that. You you do so much, and then go away, come back, look at it, find out where you've where you've gone wrong, and then tease it back in. Add some darks, and but hence the reason. But as I've been saying, right from the word, right from the get go, is that the the key to it is start off with light washes, and then gradually introduce darker layers of the same colour wash into the painting as as you as you. Um, progress through it looking for dark you know little highlights little dark bits that will catch your eye as you're painting it hence the reason you get the rigor involved and you can start especially on these edges and that and there isn't it's just but the more you do it the more you <laughs> the more you'll find the more little nuances you'll find like the edge on this edge here it probably just needs a lift off but if you've got the right flipping paper that's not too absorbent which this one isn't you could just put clean water on your brush and uh, just give it a squish a bit clean tissue and it'll do it. It's always it is doing it, but it's very subtle. And then you might find, and then you might look at it and think, oh, I don't know, I could do a bit more yellow under that bit. And you'll gradually build it up and build it up. And the, which is the, it's going to be exact maxim that would come to do with the, um, with the portrait stuff. So with that big, with the with the whole apple. Yeah my imagination or does it look like it's leaning over it's a wonky it's a monkey size it's, it's, it's an odd box apple is it <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah i was doing it when i was when i was sketching it and i was i was looking at it on here and i was thinking Do you know what it, it is wonky yeah that so, one looks rounder yeah i can just there there is a line there that i've got that i could put on yeah. Yeah. It just looks like it needs to be rounded up a bit. Only because only just to look at looking at the picture, that was all. Yeah, yeah. 
I was I was thinking it. Yeah. You're right. <coughs> so you can Dave, I'm have, going to say thank you. And I have got button. scope because I can push that out. Dave, You're off on I've yeah. got I've got to go. We've had an early delivery. Yeah. Okay. Um, see I you next was... time. Take care, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, bye, yeah. Bye. 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 There you go. I'm bored now. Yeah. I've made it a bit rounder and it looks all right once I put the shadow on. When it's yeah. dry, yeah, I'm going to be really chuffed with that apple. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Got well, Just right. I've, got, I've still got this one to finish yet. <laughs> so now I've got this palette. I've kept it all this time. Um, okay. Now this palette's back, I can tidy up that one with that one and then it, they'll be of two peas out of a doodle. They were they? Mm. Jolly good. What? Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. Once yeah. once I tidy that up, it, I'm going to be really chuffed with that, app, with mm. that picture. Yeah. Well, anyway, the ball's on, the ball's on your flipping court now. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah. Let's see what we can mess up. <laughs> well, no. I mean, the one thing is that that I've, you know, everyone's painting is so good now. It's just, I don't know, when we get back to that church, they ain't going to know what's hit them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely con I'm convinced of that. Well, I think, I think these last um, few months that we've been doing the Zoom meetings, you've been doing a lot more teaching and yeah. help with a lot. So, well, thanks to you. That they've no got choice. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to have it in you, don't you, really? The oh, hard bit's coming up next with them bloody portraits. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. But I'm sort of, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm terrified at the same time. <laughs> well, I've got, I've got one from you, haven't I? I've got, you've one, got, yeah. you've got the Queen. Yeah. I've got George and Mildred. <laughs> well, I've decided the reason I say that is because the picture that I've got on the website, I was looking at it this morning, thinking about the, um, let's close this, thinking what, what picture shall I do of George? And I, th I was looking at it and I thought, well, just hang on, two secs. I've already got the picture, am I? Can I copy this, my own picture? No, well, I'll, sh I'll share the screen. Hang on, it's value added. Value yeah. added before you rush off. Mm -hmm. Share screen. Where are you? There, that one. The picture's already there. It's the the three musketeers, isn't it? So, I think we've got oh. George, John, oh, and yeah. Terry. Oh yeah. So I could do the whole thing. We could. Do the whole oh, my word. <laughs> you really are challenging us now. Yeah. It could be the art group. Yeah. yeah, but by then we would have done we would have done the Queen. Joyce's Leonard got Leonard Cohen, which is lovely, the one underneath actually. Oh yeah. That's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to so by then we oh no. Yeah, it will. Because I'm, I'm sure. You, so George and Mildred will be after. George and Mildred. <laughs> well, they are, aren't they? Well, they, they yeah. were. Yeah. John's yeah. Mildred, and you got George. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't rung me actually for a few days, so. Yeah, he is actually. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think that'd be a good. I I thought, yeah. I th my thought was same as you. It's like, um, ooh, everyone's. Yeah. That's going to be a. A thing to do. Then I then I crossed my mind. And I thought, oh, hang on, we did Gordon Showtime, didn't we? Yeah. And there's loads yeah. of figures in there and coke yeah. ball, right? Yeah. So let's not. No. Let's not panic. <laughs> We're just yeah. going to rise to the challenge and marmalise it. Yeah, and yeah. because they're they're more distant. Yeah. Not so. <laughs> no, by then the though, queen, we'll be, that's going to be pretty. Uh... No, by then we'll be so confident. <laughs> it'll we'll just be. 
<laughs> It'd be splish, splash, splosh. Okay. Splish. Well, I'm... I'm, I'm Let's I'm wait done. and see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we don't want to stand still, do we? No. no. No, That's true. the beauty of it. Mm. Next week we're we're um we're back uh, on uh, Isle of White, yeah. The well, it's the needles, isn't it? Yeah. Not many people do that. I think I got a funny feeling that's from my mother in my my son's mother-in-law's boat, as she's saying in past. Yeah. That's why I caught it because no. Um, can't remember the name of the sh their yacht now, but they go out from Bewley and put her around there and yeah. sail up to Cornwall and that. Um, and she takes pictures, so I've, I've been doing quite a few of them. Yeah, well, we have. Yeah. <laughs> I've got another commission to do as well. Have you? What's that? That's that lady. Um, my David's mother-in-law's mum mm -hmm. got a picture of is her, I don't know how old she is she's got, coming up for a, must be a significant birthday um, or an important one there dad fancy doing a picture oh no doing another one <laughs> and it's um, at their house up at Corfe Mullen uh, no Corfe Corfway somewhere. Yeah. It's more like a country retreat than a house. It's a nice house. And uh, with her sat in the veranda, and I thought, hmm. you sent me a load of pictures, and I thought, I'll do it. I think I'll do that, do it anyway. Yeah. It's a nice picture. I like doing houses. Yeah. Using the, um, <laughs> using a grid system as well. I don't have to make it easier yeah. to do a house because you, concentrate a bit more and get get all the bits in mm. i was talking to hayden about that the other day he rang up about something oh i know because he's in the hayloft gallery and uh he was chit chit chatting normally he talks for 15 20 minutes periphery around the subject that he's really wants really ringing you up about <laughs> and uh after about the first two minutes of the conversation for a change he said well i'm not going to beat about the bush and i said the answer is no <laughs> i'm not going to do it because i knew that he's in the aloft and i'm dave's the one that goes and hangs all these pictures up because he can do it in a logical sequence of events <laughs> or i've got the i in his mind i've got a knack for doing it and can't be that bad because he always sells a watch when I'm there. Right. But I said I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. Melanie won't let me go out for that sort of thing anyway. No, you said the other day. Which is fair enough. They're mm -hmm. vulnerable. They're James and her are, are vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I've got, I'm still doing the test. Good. I've got Good. the. I mean, if I if it comes up positive for me, then. That'd be surprised because I don't go out. <laughs> yeah, I sent uh, for a, um, the test, but I haven't done it yet. I it's dead easy. It. Yeah. If you you first look at it, you think, "Oh my god!" Yeah, it, components oh, and bits everywhere. Yeah. But when you work it out, all you need is the bottle of stuff. stuff yeah. The bottle to put it in that fits yeah. in the cardboard box that they supply anyway. Yeah. So you put that in the holder, undo that, pour that in there, forget about it, get your swab out, wiggle it around your tonsils, put it up a nostril, wiggle it around there, put it in the thing, peel it, squeeze it, well, I squish it around, put your thumb on the bottom and just pull it out so that anything that's on the tip gets resolved in. Put the lid on, well just squeeze the lid back on, and then get the the actual test bit, which is a little block, isn't it? A little bar. You get that out, and it's got like you can't, can't miss it. It's got a little little hole. Well, it's just a little thing, and you just grab out the bottle, put a couple of squeeze a couple of drops on it, and you can watch the liquid goes 
bit litmus paper and it? it soaks up yeah, through the right. the thing and if you get two bars you're in quarantine right. <laughs> <laughs> if you get one bar you were okay for a while and i'll tell you what it it took it's about sticking it down my throat and up my nose i think but <laughs> i i didn't mind i i, I was like it i was conscious of that and I saw, I got the mirror out of the bathroom, the little stand-up mirror. Yeah. Know, I can't see me bloody tonsils. I had a light here and everything. <laughs> little torch. And then yeah, I, I sort of went like that. I thought, well, oh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can feel the summit's tickling your tonsils. Yeah. So if you put it in your mouth and you know it's the same stick. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's a swab. I, what I, is looked, your... um, I looked at it online and it said... Well, they are connected, Chrissy. Yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> if you wanted, you could put it up your nose, it'll go around the back and tickle your tonsils <laughs> that way. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend that. Oh. Um, the other thing, the, the first time you do it, or well, first time I do it, then you go online and do the results. Um, that took longer than the test and reading yeah. the book. But, that, but it was the first time. Because right. you're having to feel it, and it does, because you... You have to log yeah. in and register yeah. anyway. So it does keep the result, your right. info. So the second time I did it, then I used my um, mobile mm -hmm. anyway, because on the little test pad, it's got a QE thing on the end. So then when you go in, log on to give the results, it's got scan. So you can click click that and then it'll on your phone will come up won't it so you can scan the thing so you haven't got to put in the daft registration oh, right, right. the number that's on there right. the key code in it it does all that yeah. for you oh, right, right. and that that was i was a happy puppy then because i was like yeah. great yeah it right. took i quite enjoyed doing it actually <laughs> it's my tuesday you have to do it what, what is the actual point of doing it? If you've got the NHS app, do, do you do it if they tell you? Is that when you do it? If they say that you've been in contact with somebody? No, it, it's available for anybody to, to send off. You just go on the government thing. But I think it's just uh, if you're out and about more, maybe oh, it's okay. uh, to see if, if you have got it, then you know you've got to self-isolate. Not if pass it on, it. yeah. Yeah. face thing would probably kick in if you've been there. I just figure it's a good thing but, to do because all the kids are having to do it. Yeah, yeah, my grandkids have all, all they're all it. they're all up and to and it. The and parents I'm, as well. So. Yeah. So mm. I think if if everyone buys if you buy into it, then it's mm. and it when I figured about yeah. it and I thought, well it's only ten minutes out of my life. Yeah. I must and, admit I because I haven't been out much, I sort of think, you know, like Chris said. You know what's the point really but um if i start going out a bit more i might use it then you know yeah but can you yeah. imagine get to the art group on a tuesday or whenever we decide to yeah go back. yeah anyone new come in so we can sit yeah. out in the back yeah. if you do that a minute, <laughs> do <you test? laughs> come back in an hour or up 40 yeah. minutes <laughs> i might let you in <laughs> but you gotta have a mask on you think we'll be going back there then to the church you think yeah, it's just, I reckon it should be all right. And it's, well, how, depends on how things go, really, doesn't it? With things opening up gradually. Oh, yeah. Every time I keep seeing positive things from the news and all the rest of it, and the COVID mm -hmm. people on my app talk that I talk to um, will send me stuff. But then again, if you were in France, Spain, Italy, and Germany right now, you wouldn't be thinking that and all no. the rest of it. They were probably thinking, yeah, hey, it's come the summer, we'll be back. Look at them. Yeah. They're, in, they're in meltdown. Yeah. India, meltdown. India. Oh, isn't that awful? Yeah, terrible. That, that is so sad. That's their own yeah. fault. Well. That's their own fault. Because they, they kick, they'd sort the thing out. Mm. A, a few months back, they, but they opened up with without anything. They were having yeah. rock concerts, everything. It was all mix them. They were sorted. Yeah. So they only got themselves to blame, really. Yeah. 
Anyway. I feel sorry for him, though, like you're saying. I'll, um, I'll join you on Friday if I remember. If not, I'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> well, I'll post... A, I, I, I probably won't post this video today. What I'll no. do is I'll do... I'll probably do some more work on that tomorrow when it's bone dry. And no. then butt the two together. I like doing the before and after. It's it's, it's like get to Tuesday and I'm and I'm thinking, well, you know, could do better, Dave. <laughs> and then comes sort of Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday morning. And I'm thinking, that's better. Why don't you do that in the first in the first place? <laughs> but everyone does. I think um, when I see. Uh, some of the guys that I admire and watch them doing their tutors and uh, demonstrations and that, the reason they're good at it, because that's all they do. Mm. That demonstration is something they do week in, week out for the last 10, 15 years. Same mm. whether it's um, Terry Harrison or the rest of it. That is what they do. Yeah. That subject, that methodology, boom. They don't mm, yeah. suddenly come up with a different subject different out of their comfort zone but uh, you know yeah i can't prank you know and that, which is why i do it mm. which is why we're all doing it because we're becoming better artists for it we're, 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 anyway on that note i must go right I i'll got, see you when i see you guys yeah, yeah. No, I got, yeah I got, okay bye chris i'm going bye. as well so uh, bye. We'll i got you. a fish finger sandwich with my yeah. name on it <laughs> Enjoy. Well, I've, got to put them, I've got to warm them up a bit. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, bye, thanks, then. Thanks very much. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. Bye, 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 Bye. Right, I'm going, Dave. Anne's gone as well. I want to see a, a really nice apple out of you. Well, what I was doing while you were painting, <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Photos. I've been photoshopping. What's but, wrong with that? It gives me inspiration. It, it picks out where the shadows are and things, and uh, makes me understand the picture a bit better. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I tend to do. Um, with these these ones, I mean, yeah. is I'll flick like a, the screen and I'll sit here and I can see exactly what's what then. Yeah. The, um, yeah, the one that, one that, uh, come out quite inspirational is that one. Yep. Is, uh, the, the HDR. Posterized mode. Yeah, it's going to say it looks like an HDR mode. Yeah. Um, could do, maybe that's a uh, thing I could do is to go back on some some of the old, the earlier subjects we've done and redo them in with effects and see what happens. I'll tell you, you could sell them quite easily. In the right place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, they do, don't they? They there's art, so-called artists doing them and uh, flogging them off as uh, paintings. Anyway, Hor horrible people. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave you to it then, Dave. And thanks, thanks very much. Less is more. Yeah, I hope you get your camera sorted out. Cheers, mate. Okay. Bye.